I'm very upset with the president. I don't talk a lot of politics, and I'm not going to, but last night, he did something to me. I get very, very, very little breaks because I've got a very, very, very little baby. And one of my joys is that when she goes to bed, I get to watch television with my wife. There I am, I'm watching my favorite show of the summer, Bachelor in Paradise, and all of a sudden there's a special news report. And this guy rambles on for 45 minutes, I'm sure it was very important. What happens when you have a show that you, you DVR, somebody comes in like a news break, right. it records over it. Right, and, and the TV's not smart enough to schlep itself over to know I want to see the end of Bachelor in Paradise. It's not right, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it anyway. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something that affects uh, everybody. Today, we're gonna to talk about failure. Everyone has that piece, that piece of art that they have put their heart and soul and energy and love and sweat and tears and blood and in some case other fluids into and they just can't get it in their mind right. It's a failure. They can't get the project where they want it to be. No matter how much they try, no matter how much I've tried, no matter how much you've tried, failure is something that, funny enough, brings us all together. It's sort of like breathing. We all breathe. And when you experience this failure, it hits you. It, it hits your, your ego or your id. I don't know, which one is it? Ego or id? Ego? What's the id? It's the other stuff. It's the other stuff, okay. But this is a very important time. This is a very important time. Anytime an artist, whether they have been painting for 20 years or this is their first 20 minutes, when they are experiencing failure, this is a crucial time. It's a crucial time to understand what is happening and how you're letting it affect you. It is okay to feel however you feel. It's okay to feel. Your emotions matter. But the question is, will you let this failure define you or will you let it strengthen you? There are so many different things that uh, affect us in, in different ways that we un, you know, don't always expect. If you start telling yourself the wrong things when you're going through a failure, if you start telling yourself, I'm not good enough, I can't, I can't do it. These are the messages that you might not even realize you're starting to ingrain in your subconscious. And that's not right. It is okay to feel the loss, to feel the hit, but do not start telling yourself things that are just not true. Failure is essential. You know, the, the, the old saying is, the difference between the beginner and the master is the master has failed more times than the beginner has tried. It's just part of it. Those of you guys that have been painting for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about, but if there are a few of you out there that are currently experiencing this, maybe for the first time, this is the most important thing for you. These real talks, we're just one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me. I don't know why I look off to the side. Nobody else is here. Everybody else is here. I love you guys. It's important that you understand you are not alone in this. Everybody goes through it, and you cannot allow yourself to start telling yourself thoughts that can lead down a very dark path, right? Right. With anything, but art is, is not, you know, uh, discluded. We peak and we valley, okay? You know, life doesn't go in this, you know, linear, I don't know which way it makes sense to go this way, linear line. Is that linear or is that horizontal? I don't, I don't even, I can't do math. Is that math? I don't even know, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I'm just waving my hand around like I'm a magician. <sighs> life does not go in a, in a straight line, okay? We have our highs and our lows. And it's important that we understand that when we're on those high peaks, we appreciate it, but we don't let it go to our heads. We don't let that ego on the other end of the spectrum uh, blow things out of proportion because you are going to dive down again. Something's going to happen. If you thought this is as good as I can feel and you say this is it, and then you start to dip down again, it's going to be very hard to convince yourself that you'll ever be there again. So you have to manage the peaks, and then when you're in those valleys where something, you know, you're going through a failure, or something's not going right for you, you understand that those valleys end. In between, you have those kind of plateaus where you can kind of just, you know, re reassess, you know, where you are. You know, you're not always up, you're not always down unless you're manic depressive, or bipolar, bipolar, right? Both. Unless you're human, everybody goes through that. We all have our ups and downs. That's, 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 I think, what I want to say there. I want you to ask yourself something. Does failure mean that you didn't try? Does failure mean 
that you didn't try your best? Does failure mean that you don't care? The answer is no. Well, I shouldn't even say that. The answer is what you tell yourself. But in my opinion, you never fail as long as you try. And I, I get a little serious here because this is something that a lot of people take for granted. If you are trying, that takes heart. Heart cannot be taught. Tenacity to continue to press on through the hard times and understand that they will end and they are making you stronger. They are making you a better artist. They are making you a better person. These things are important and you tell yourself that and hopefully that will help you. So instead of telling yourself, I'm not good enough, remind yourself, I am growing. That's the bigger message. That's the important thing. This is really intense for me. You're smiling while you like it. Okay. Perfect spot for a Yoda quote. Yes. Do or do not, there is no try. So tenacity is the key. Resist those little voices in your head that are telling you messages that will bring you down. They will not help. And also when it comes to those pieces of art, you're not quitting. Can I consider a, a failed piece of art like a, like a bad relationship. I don't wanna give up on this relationship. I wanna keep trying, but at a certain point, you gotta cut your losses and move on. You gotta get rid of that art. You gotta purge it from your life because it's just gonna bring you down. The smart thing is not thinking I'm quitting, but understanding when you have a lost cause. And there is a difference, and you'll know it. So don't hold on to things that bring you down. Get rid of them. Get them at least out of your line of sight. They're just gonna bum you out. If it's not bringing you joy or bringing you any value, you gotta get rid of it. You gotta make space for the things that do. So I want everybody to share an experience of a failed project. I think it's important that for those, especially those younger artists that are going through maybe one of their first big failures, that they understand they're not alone and that this happens to just about everybody that does, this happens to everybody that does art. You have a project that does not go to plan. I wanna hear about your fails. I wanna hear about your epic fails. You know, I have a bunch of epic fails, but most of them just have to do with me trying to do something athletic. I wanna hear about your fails because it's important that everybody knows they're not alone, that everybody goes through this. I believe that failure is key to success, at least long-term success. Now that might sound a little counterintuitive. How can failure equal success? Well, in the short term, maybe it doesn't. If you fail and you succeed, it's the continuing to succeed. So let's say that you do a painting and it's fantastic. You're happy. If you keep that expectation, if you haven't failed, then that next time it doesn't go, you're not managing that peak like we discussed, you're gonna find yourself having a very hard time. And it also does something very important. It keeps you humble and it keeps you grounded. And I think that there's so many people in this world that fall on, you know, the way I learned it is on this side of the spectrum, you've got arrogance and on this side of the spectrum, you've got insecurity. And in all honesty, they're one and the same. But in the middle is confidence. Confidence in yourself, confidence in your abilities as an artist. And that comes from failing and learning from the failure. So it's important that you understand it's okay to fail every now and then, okay? It's important to succeed every now and then. And it's important to find me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry every now and then. Because why not? Right? Why not? Who wouldn't want to follow this? Where you can follow me behind the scenes of Jerry's, behind the scenes of my life. It's just whatever I feel like posting. It's fun stuff. Those of you that follow, uh, you know what I'm talking about, and you probably already stopped watching. So, sorry. That ended on a piss poor note. Um, Yes, failure. That, that, that ending was a failure. We're going to try it again. I'm going to learn from that. No, this is a good example. I'm going to learn from that, okay?